This is pretty cool. <laughs> the recoil actually is kind of cool. I finally grabbed an aim track light gun. So in this video, we're gonna unbox it, check it out. I'll show you a little bit of the software here. We're gonna do a ton of gameplay. I actually tear it down. I show you what's inside of it. I show you some of my settings and uh, my final thoughts. I bought the recoil version here, so I'll show some footage with and without the recoil on so you can see the difference as well. What's in the box? Ooh, look at that. A brand new aim track light gun with a sensor bar, which is a sensor bar. And uh, this is the recoil version. And this is a pretty cool gun. So recoil version comes with the little power adapter here. Now the person who sells these does not sell the power adapter. So I am bought a power adapter on eBay, I'm waiting for it to come. But this is not just one aim track light gun. This is two. Aim track light guns. So yes, I am. Uh, I'm working on a light gun arcade cabinet with Game Room Solutions. That's going to be coming shortly. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and unbox these and test these out on my current computer and see how I like them. Get them all set up so when it does come time to me to put these in my other into the actual arcade cabinet, they um, all know like what software to run, what settings to run, what emulators to sync up and get it all working well. So it comes with a little nice cardboard quick start guide, and then each gun comes with its own uh, you know, infrared bar. And so similar to the Dolphin bar, by the time you buy this shell, you buy the Wii Remote, and now the Dolphin bar is going for over $40, which is ridiculous. When I first started showing off this Dolphin bar, and maybe it's my fault, I'm sorry, but I bought my Dolphin bar brand new on Amazon for 20 bucks, and I already had the Wii Remote, so it was like a $30 investment. These are gonna run you, you know, around 120 bucks at least, maybe more. Um, and I've seen them go for way more. And so, with the light, if you have to buy a Wii Remote though, and you have to buy this and the Dolphin bar, these are almost identical now at these premium prices. So check around, and we'll, see, you know, the prices are fluctuating. So as far as the gun itself, it definitely has some interesting features on it. Like it feels heavy. It feels like a, not like a real gun, I can tell you that. I mean, it's plastic, but um, it definitely has a good feel to it. The gun itself, you know, you have some nice grip here, and then it has two buttons. You got one there, one there, and then you have the trigger as well. You can see down the barrel, it's just got a little screen there for the infrared sensor. And then I do want to point out that they give you a lot of slack here. Like this is a long cable. I want to say it's at least 10 feet. No, it's not. It's got to be close to 20 feet, which is good for an arcade cabinet. And also just how thick the gauge of wire is here. Like you know when you go to the arcade, like this is the type of quality where it's like kids are going to be pulling at it and messing. Like this is really good thick cabling. Now do note, they do sell a couple of add-ons that I didn't buy. They sell a larger uh, bar here. I'm sure it works a little better. And they sell a Bluetooth adapter as well if you want to go wireless for these. So what do you got over here? You have the recoil, which this is a pin that hits the gun and it shakes the gun. You have a little button under here that triggers the actual, actual mechanism. You have your two buttons over here, one on the right, one underneath. That's to your right and left mouse if you want to use them. And then you have the actual sensor over there. So pretty, pretty basic 
unit here. So up to this point in the video, I was not using the software yet. The software is one of the things why I was very interested in this product because the Mayflash Dolphin Bar doesn't give you much as far as support. Now this application gives you like this sensor right here. I took out a tape measure and as you see, it, to go from red to, to orange, and remember orange is still good, it took about 40 inches. To go from orange and above, I maxed it out at 20 and I just ran out of space. You might get more than 20 feet of distance there. Some other things that this app is really cool about is assigning gamer tags and controller tags so you can um, set multiple controllers. You can set up to four of these guns on one light bar. The other thing you might want to do is change this to in, in, uh, intelligent uh, from continuous scanning up at the top. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It seemed it worked a little bit better, but you can play with those two modes. The other thing is on the far right side here, there's a little calibration with these little boxes that you can add a check to or not. By default, those are checked. I definitely uncheck those. There's a couple of the other screens there. And then uh, when you go to their website, there's quite a bit of tutorials and, and, and details, but it's basically everything I'm telling you here as far as, you know, how to calibrate. You just hold down the button or you could do it within the utility. And then uh, here's the settings I end up using for the rest of the video. You can't spin it. It's easily. All right, so initial review. It's awesome. Now, it's not going to be night and day over the Dolphin Bar, you know, running a Wii style controller. Where's my Wii controller? Here it is. Um, I have to say, what something that was very significant though to me was on the Wii controller. Sometimes, if you get it off screen, off the sensor, it's really hard for the sensor to pick it back up when you get back in range. With this gun, and especially aggravating and frustrating when you're trying to reload, especially like a game like Area 51 or something. So that is a huge benefit in my mind, just right off the bat. Um, this gun is just way heavier, it looks more realistic, so aesthetically it gets a way higher grade. Value-wise, this one might beat it out as far as cost. Um, now, as far as uh, features and usability and user-friendliness, this, it even comes with its, with its own app. This may flash Dolphin Bar. Some people have the older version, they have to update the firmware. It's a little bit more adventurous, you need to get it all set up. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this is you only need one sensor bar for up to four of these light guns. So that's pretty cool. With the Wii Remote, each light gun needs its own Mayflash light bar. So you would need two light bars plus two Wii Remotes for that to work. So with all that said and done, is it worth it? Yes, if you're into guns and you like shooters, 
yeah, go grab this. There's no, there's no. And the, the other thing you have to think about with these is the resale value is crazy. Now I'm saying that now, but back when I was looking to buy these, like back when this whole coronavirus thing started back in like March, these things like got super high in demand. You know, let's say you're, you get bored of this after a few years you could probably still sell it for like 80 to 100 dollars so think about it like that it is a pretty good investment so that's what i think let me know y'all think don't forget to like and subscribe i'll catch you on the next one